afternoon, everyone. Um, yes, I'm David Springle. I'm the CTO of Yospace. Um, I was actually here a year ago, and I demonstrated our technology. Um, we insert live um, addressable ads into live streams. So I've got 10 minutes to kind of bring you up to date of what we've been doing, an extra years of a year's worth of experience, and some of the, talk about some of the challenges um, to yield optimization um, for the, in the online space. So broadcasters, using our technology, uh, are able to unlock you know, large amounts of impressions, hundreds of millions of impressions of uh, advertising from uh, live uh, sporting events. Um, across the 300 plus channels that we manage for broadcasters around the world, we have determined that the average viewing time for live uh, sport, sporting events is about, the average viewing time is about 30 minutes. Um, there are on average 12 uh, unavailable ad spots and unlocked as a result of that. Um, we, we find consistently our customers report back over 95% view through rates uh, as a result of the engagement with the live content. And that has meant just in September alone, 250 million ad spots were opened just from our European customers. So we know that the, certainly the technology works the, and the, the ability to insert um, addressable advertising or advertising into live streams that is decisioned per user is, is works. The key is that in order to deliver you know, the, the, the greater amounts of revenue, the, the yield optimization is a path up a big mountain. You start with you know, no, a blunderbuss approach, no, address, you know, no addressability whatsoever. You're effectively targeting the content like you would do in broadcast. But you have the tracking, right? So you can track the, the viewership of the ads in a far more higher fidelity way than you can we would normally online. Then you go to broader segmentation, finer segmentation, and the sort of the heady heights of the rarefied atmosphere at the top is hyper-targeting, user-centric uh, targeting, where you can drive higher and higher CPMs. So um, Scottish Television were the, one of the first um, broadcasters that launched with us um, back in 2014. Um, and really, all they had at the start was very broad segmentation, that was akin to that which you would do in normal traditional linear television. Um, Geolocation and program-based targeting. Um, <clears throat> by at the same time as launching with us, they also added uh, user registration and were able to build up first-party data that would allow them to provide demographic mosaic um, type uh, targeting. So you've got you know, relatively fine um, uh, segmentation that was used, deployed in the Rugby World Cup and, of course, the uh, Euro 2016. 98% um, of uh, STV's uh, inventory is now uh, targetable. Um, and that's you know, going from you know, what was a, a relatively uh, cold start a, a couple of years ago. Uh, Channel 4, just about this time last year, launched um, the premium video exchange, uh, effectively a supply side technology that um, provided programmatic buying of their inventory across not just live, we, we do for Channel 4, but also VOD, um, and you know, reporting 72% greater efficiency, 24% um, better advertising recognition as a result of programmatic buying. Um, Sky AdSmart um, you know, were one of the very first innovators of um, you know, target or addressable advertising in not just OTT, but also in their traditional uh, satellite delivery, um, providing advertising um, to businesses that would normally not have considered television. The ability to address um, smaller niches of users, demographics, and to apply that target, targeting capability um, opens up you know, a, a greater value for advertisers. Channel switching during 
um, ad, ad smart breaks has re is is thirty three percent lower than the norm as a result of more relevant advertising. So. What are the tools of yield optimization? Well, you've probably heard a lot of these things. The fulfillment of ad unsold inventory, unsold inventory um, by using third-party networks, um, the programmatic purchasing, real-time bidding, enhanced data management, audience tracking, um, re -u or, uh, using more ad creative because you have more slots to fill um, to reduce uh, ad fatigue from uh, individual users. Now, all of these things represent uh, a, a problem or represent a potential problem with regard to the management of ad copy itself. Um, now, this is something that has been solved fairly, fairly comprehensively in the, on, uh, in the traditional delivery space, but is a bit of a wild west in the... Uh, digital uh, space in that when we as a company that is inserting ads into a stream get a, get a decision from an ad decisioning system such as Freewheel or DoubleClick or whatever, we may be given that ad for, for the very first time. And at the point at which we get that, that ad, which is a URL to us, we have to transcode it, we have to make it match the, the content uh, and we have to put it onto a CDN, and we have to warm that content up such that it doesn't break the actual delivery of the live stream. Now, if you imagine you're watching this in a, um, if you're in a, uh, watching a, 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 a major live event, and you want to do RTB for the third break in the, that major live event, then this is, you're going to come, a, uh, come across this problem um, it, it, quite significantly. The other thing about ad, you know, ad content, it needs to be handled correctly, it needs to be rights cleared, um, has to go through QA and so on and so forth. So the, the advent of all of these advanced yield optimization techniques needs to be underpinned by uh, sensible uh, ad copy management. And that is sort of an area that we are now um, looking at. The idea that the thinking needs to change from content delivery, that is the delivery of ads when you need it, to content availability. The content needs to be available to businesses such as ourselves that are inserting this into the digital do domain in the same way that it is done and has been solved for the broadcast domain. And furthermore, the concept of the creative platform where the ad copy comes from, you know, going through to the demand platform, going through to our world, the delivery side in OTT, and then the new capability that is offered by OTT with the tracking data and the reporting, and then that going back all the way up to the top, not just to the demand side or to the, to, to the supply side, but all the way to the creative side, so that, so that there is increased in effectiveness of the ad copy itself. For every four pieces of ad copy that are generated, uh, there are six that have been produced, uh, cleared and are fine, but have never been aired. And that, that effectiveness, making use of that unused uh, ad copy to reduce ad fatigue and to direct the creative process is a, is a key area that we are um, now partnering with um, effectively ad, man ad management companies to address. Thank you very much for your time. <laughs>